Hey everyone, okay, common question that I'm getting and I'm just gonna jump right into it is, how are we calculating the points? And um, trying to email this is just a train wreck, so I'm gonna do my best to explain it. Um, each week, as you guys know, the class points are super simple. You either get zero or you get two. If you took four classes or worked out four times, you get two points. If you did any less than that, you get zero. Um, the three other categories that we're measuring, just as a reminder, is how much weight was lost, um, cumulative total, but for now, since we're just at week one, we're looking at your week, um, weekly. Um, what is your overall body fat dro uh, percentage drop? And I'll explain that one probably last because it's a little bit more complicated. And then how many pounds of lean muscle did you gain? So all three categories are calculated the same way and it is based on a 25 point scale. So what that means in layman's terms is we're only ranking the top 25 people. So for example, if you lost 20 pounds this past week and you lost the most out of anybody, let's say out of all the guys, you would get the full 25 points. If you placed second, let's say you lost 19, point, 19 pounds, you get 24 points. Let's say that you lost 10 pounds and that put you kind of straight in the middle. You might be, you might get 10 points. So we go 25, 24, 23, 22, all the way down to one. Now, the reason why this takes so long is because we fill it out in a spreadsheet and then we have to sort to see who placed first through 10th, basically, on the weight loss category. So we do that for weight loss, then we reset the system and do it again for lean muscle mass. So we look at who put on the most muscle for the week. And again, if you put on the most muscle, you get the most points. So that would be 25 points. If you put on the third most muscle, meaning you ranked third for the week, you get 23 points. We rank that category, 25, 24, 23, 22, all the way down to one. Um, for body fat percentage lost, let's say that you went, we look at cumulative total, cumulative total. So the formula for that is always the same. And let me explain what that is. We take your initial body fat, let's say it's 15%. We subtract that from your current body fat. Let's say that's 14%. So it's your initial body fat subtracted from your current test divided by your initial. What that figure gives us is your cumulative total body fat. So if you went from 15 to 12%, it's not 15 minus 12 is three. No, it's 15 minus 12% gives us a decimal. We divide that by your initial body fat of 15%. Most people lost like one to three, maybe 4% uh, 4 of their overall body fat if it was you know somebody that usually our guys tend to lose more faster. So we look at that as well. So when you see your body fat, you can't go, hey, I went from 15 to, to 11, why aren't I ranked higher? The formula may not warrant that as such. So with body fat, we do the exact same thing. So our spreadsheet, our formulas are already calculated in. Um, we reset everything all over again, resort everything all over again so that when we look at your body fat that came in for this week based on your in body, we sort who had the most overall body fat drop for that week, that person gets 25 points. The second most gets 24, etc, etc, etc. Now, once we have sorted all three categories, what we do is add those categories up. So let me give you an example. Let's say that, because my math is terrible, I'm gonna do this on the spot with you. Let's say that you place first for weight loss, so you got 25 points. Let's say you placed, you only got five points for um, body fat percentage drop. So you lost more weight than you did body fat. We say 25 points for your weight loss, plus you got five points, that's where you ranked for your body fat. And let's say you, you, know, you got one point, you barely were in the top 25 for muscle gained. What I'm gonna do then, and the numbers that you see, is based on those three categories of points that are out of 25, 25 for you being the top person that lost the most weight, men versus women, plus the five points that you earned for your body fat percent drop, plus the one point you earned based where you ranked for your muscle gained, means that you're at 31 points. 
So when you see 64, 53, 39, etc., that's what we're doing. We're taking where did you rank for how much weight you lost, um, how much body overall body fat that you dropped for this week, and how much muscle you gained. What was your ranking for all three of those? Add them together, those are the numbers that you see. We will redo that for week two. So everything that you see is just who did the best this week. Um, and then by the time we get to week six, that's when it, I hate to say it, this is just for fun, but that's when it really matters because that's when we say, where did you start? Where did you end up? How much weight did you actually lose in this six weeks? How much overall body fat did you actually lose in these six weeks? How much muscle did you actually put on in these six weeks? So these weekly numbers are more to kind of just for fun and to spark your a little bit sense of competitiveness, lets you know where you're at. Um, I don't want you to freak out if you miss a week. So, I mean, I'm not freaking out. If you miss week six, you're up at Creek, but um, we're not there yet. So every week it's calculated the same. Each category is out of 25 points. We add what you, what you got, basically how your rankings were. And if you ranked past 25, like your number 37 or 40, et cetera, you may have not gotten any points for this week. It doesn't mean you're bad or anything like that. It just means that maybe this week wasn't your week and anything after 25, after the top 20, you know, the 25 points, we simply just put zero. So um, we'll only show the top 10. Um, if there's more than 10, it means there was a tie. So that's why you see a couple of different names on the actual um, uh, top 10 for the men, for example. Um, if you specifically want to know where you ranked individually, by all means, you can email me and I'll tell you. Um, just a heads up, I will not show where everybody ranked. Um, there's no way to do that without showing you everyone's numbers and having the world's longest Instagram post ever um, because there are 55 men and there are 78 women. So um, I hope this helps. If it doesn't and you need further clarification, shoot me an email. I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, there's a lot going on today with a lot of questions from you. So I really appreciate your patience. Hope this helps, guys.